Merry Christmas everybody! It's December the 17th. I did go out uh, sea glass hunting some a little bit and I want to show you what I found you. Um, you should be seeing the actual footage before this. I might tack this on to one short time that I went out. We'll see. Anyway, I'm um, making some tea on the stove. Getting ready to eat some Swedish meatballs. But I found two shells that I normally would not have found. I will start with them. Brand new shells. Let me start with the smaller one first. This is... I see her find them, the lady on the Florida YouTube page, all the time. This is called a horse conch shell. Now in Florida, they're um, deep burnt orange or brown um, or white with some color. Um, I guess our waters <clears throat> here may not be as rich as the Gulf waters on the west side of Florida. But Southwest Beach. Um, but anyway, it's intact. The aperture's intact. Uh, nobody was renting it. So it was vacant. So I could take it and pick it up. And I was so shocked when I found it. Now, um, the first, remember last time I made a video, if you did watch, I had never found a ribbed tulip before. Oh, I think I didn't finish that video. I got busy. So this is... Um, not ribbed, excuse me, banded tulip. So this is a banded tulip. Um, I have found a white one before, but I don't know what I did with it. I might have put it away already. However, this one is hearty. It's got the color in it, on it, with in it. Now, uh, there's banded tulips and true tulips. Banded tulips, the ones I've seen in Florida, are a little bit more cream colored with like an, a light army green and somewhat of a mauve rose on it. And they're, they're bigger, about this big. And they have shine on them. So why ours are like ours are, I don't know. But I was happy to see that it did not have a critter inside. I was happy to see that um, the aperture was all intact here that it was whole it was hardy and it was not void of color so this is my first um tulip shell that i found uh here besides the white one i think i put away of color this one of color so um now banded tulips when they're cream in their army green and or mauve you can see bands going around it like thread like a single thread a single thread a single thread a single thread and it's called a banded tulip with true tulips you don't see the single threads so I'm gonna venture and say that this is a true tulip because I've never seen a banded tulip with that many um, stripes in a row like that but regardless of whether it's a banded tulip or a true tulip true tulips are rarer it does have its um, cone point intact. You can tell it's taken a little bit of a beating. And I have um, put, um, put some olive oil on my hand here. I have um, oiled it several times. And it just keeps soaking up the oil. And I want to get this stuff online, but it's expensive. It's like $18. It's called Renaissance Wax. I think it's more for like knives and weapons. Um, but it would keep it shinier longer um, if you wax on top. So maybe in the future. But right now, um, this is a banded tulip. So when I found this little horse conch, I was really really surprised and when I found this particular shell um, a critters drilled into it I thought it was a a tulip but the more I looked at it before making the video I really think it's just a larger horse conch just without the tail because I've been watching the lady in Florida for probably about over a year now and she 
knows her shells, although she doesn't know East Coast shells as well. But just by the shape of that, it's the same exact shape. Just This is a juvenile. When they're small like this, they're called a juvenile. And um, see this one cones up the same way. It's just missing the part of the tail got clipped. But still a great find. Um, I found a blue piece of pottery. Um, one of my walks. Okay, now I've shown you these in the summer, but they broke apart. These are a new shell um, that I'm able to bring home without falling apart. It looks like a butterfly when they're hinged. It's called a coquina shell. So I had to stick it in my pocket very carefully. And I was afraid it was going to break. I was talking to this lady who, um, God let me minister to her on the beach. Oh, I feel so sorry for her. Let's keep her in prayer that her heart gets healed. Um, you might see me closing out a video because she came up to me. Anyway, um, then I found another coquina. So she wanted to see the sea loss I found. And I told her if I went in my pocket too much, I had found two coquinas. And I didn't want to move them too much because they're very fragile. And I'd like to keep them hinged. So, <clears throat> isn't that pretty? So I'll put a little oil on that. So I did find the coquinas in the summer and took a picture of them. But these are, but when I went to pick it up, it unhinged. And these are two brand new ones I just found um, yesterday. So, and they come in a variety of colors. All right, so <clears throat> I don't know if I told you or not, but um, I um, blessed my best friend. Well, the Lord bless her is what I should say. With. Hold on a second. Okay. Remember I told you guys we had these um, tower shells full. And um, the margarita glass that's back here. Oh, I'm just making a mess. I'm putting on a show for you guys. This is just temporary until my Christmas tree. Until Jesus' Christmas tree gets put away after the holidays. I keep hearing this song, I'll be home for Christmas. Come on home for Christmas. Whoever that's for. Um, so the, the margarita one right here was full. So I sent her three-fourths, and I have collected more since I sent them. I think it was down about this low. So, um, tea's not ready yet. Seems like when I put the bags in there early, they bust. So I'm waiting last minute for the bags in. So I did find a couple of more tower shells yesterday. The ones that I found from last week or the time before when I went, um, I, um, put them already in here because I'm pretty good about, um, washing them and cleaning them. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, pretty soon. Okay, but, so, and, okay, so you know I find yellow jingles, as well as um, beige jingles. Haven't found any beige at this beach, but I found a black silver uh, jingle. They come in silver, light, light silver, lighter silver than this. This is about the deepest one I've ever found. So that's something new. Um, trying to keep the bedroom heat on. So let me shut that door. All right, so we've got two horse conks, a possibly true tulip, um, could be ribbed, blue pottery, two coquina shells, hinge, which is great, a black jingle shell, and I did find a yellow buttercup shell okay so I'll put you right there seems like no matter how many I put in there I have still room okay so all your tea bags go in there all right so then I found um, I'm replenishing the brown sea glass in case I meet um, you know some people that aren't from around here and I want to bless them again um, I did find this one blue piece and it is tumbled and it's a shape of a trinity pretty neat 
pretty neat. I think I got paint on my fingernail there. Um, doing arts and crafts. Okay, so I found uh, this is a seafoam piece, but found all these whites, and I was able to replenish. Um, this is seafoam too. Nice fine seafoam. I was able to replenish some greens here. Um, this is from about two walks. Um, the la the time before last I went out, I only found one piece. If you see me show a video with just cold, huge waves, the one piece that I found was this. And then I think I found this, um, yesterday. So, put this over there, this over there. Alright, so, um, hold on a second. This is in a cooking show, but... If I don't make my tea now, I'll forget about it. And I just, like some people have to have coffee, I just have to have tea. I don't want the bags to bust. Alright, so I'll turn it on low. Put the top over it. And, no, I need to cook just a little bit more. Lord, please remind me. Okay, so I found this interesting duck head cut off. I thought that was really neat. Um, I have, it means something to me symbolically, I won't share that, but, and this is a new shell, it's called a limpet shell. Now the ones in South Carolina, maybe I'll show you on another day, I don't want to go dig it in my stuff because I just cleaned my closet, made a bunch of room for my closet, or maybe I will show you, let me just pause you. Alright, so I just made all this space available. God said clean your closet and make room. So I did. Okay, so we're going to go in this drawer right here. Hold on, let me find the limpet shells real quick. Hold on.